Welcome to Winter Voices. This tutorial will help you navigate the game. Anytime you wish to please check the boxes. And even though I have done the tutorial, I will leave it on for those that haven't. Just so, you know, they can maybe learn a little bit about the game too. I won't necessarily read through all the tutorial boxes, but, um, well, they're kind of short, so maybe I will. Uh, let's continue. And the music with this is rather haunting, so it really is. Alright, sorry. I am slowly distracted. Okay. See, we can move. And the good thing is, I've only had, like, one glitch in this game where I had to... ...ish restart. But other than that, it's really solid for how simple it is. Alright, alright. Are you reading the tutorial? Good. We have goals. Oh, and to... I know it'll tell you how to do it, but to see your character sheet... Actually, hold on. Uh, let me see if I can turn up the dialogue a little bit, because it is kind of quiet. Mm. I know I have the... I know I have the, um, subtitles on, for good reason. But I'm trying to see if I can get the, uh... Like, the voiceover stuff up a little bit. It doesn't look like I can, but let's turn up the ambient volume a little bit. You can save the game at any time. Call it Christine. Even though my character's name is Chris, Christine's more elegant. Maybe I'll go back and change it. But anyways, um, then to load, you just go here and you choose your character. Let's go back to the game. Uh, can I go? Okay, maybe I can't click on my character sheet yet. That is my icon for, um, sleeping. Uh, that'll become important later on. You don't really sleep much in the first, uh, section of the game. Or these first few tutorial parts, you don't really sleep a lot. Anyways, we're going to go see my dad, right? Yes. That's right. Going. As you are sitting immobile by your father's side, it looks like the shadows gloom inside the room. More threatening, more alive. They put on a strange, almost bewitching show that of a familiar darkness which moves, becomes human, metamorphoses. You are undoubtedly delirious, but it doesn't matter much. Now we're getting into combat. You've entered your first battle. Alright. Our goal is to escape, escape through the door. That door there. And then his spirit was dead. His body fell to the earth. The murder was consummated. The childhood came undone. They sat down dreadful atop the walls of dust. What will the worms do with this intangible flesh? The worms do their work, weariness, sleep. They stretch, they cease, they weave the years together miraculously. They mold the human shape, they shave, they shape the differences. They are close to the roots where the trees begin, where the tree begins.
They make the moonless night and new moon as well. They make the north and east. They make the south and west. They make they harvest in the dead all that is left to take. They make the ancestor and the wolf, which we call Hindramel. During battle, your movements are limited by your movement points, as you'll see when I... Alright, um... When you were little, you used to look out the window in search of new images, of new lights, of useless things. What do you look for today? What is left to search for in this cold, misty landscape, bound by lassitude? He went away, taking all the light with him. He took all the light, do you remember? And, you know, you have some dialogue choices. Once you have spent all your movement points, you must end your turn. Um, which is easy, uh, you do it down here. This little button. Alright, I have Repulsion, that's the first thing you learn. It has a limited range. And now that I have more movement, move to the door. Do you find him frightening now? And yesterday he was a mountain, a demon, a threat. Today reduced to a state of refuse, what could he do? A pale and already cold skeleton, his eyes dead, his body stiff. He doesn't expect anything from you any longer. And then I get, leave me alone. He is definitely stiff as a poker. Be quiet. Such is life. He lived more than 45 years in the village. Few men could say the same. Uh, since I'm kind of going with the... Eh, I don't know. If, I don't remember what I said in my other games. So I'm just gonna go stiff as a poker. Because humor is how I cope. And now you leave, without any respect for the one who made you the way you are. You flee. You flee his useless corpse. You flee the sight of his empty, ozer circled eyes. You flee his room when nothing holds you back. Unfazed, you forsake him to the shadows, to the claws of night. I can't. I can't stay. But if you can't, who will? Leave, Christine. There's no going back anymore. We shall meet again. The shadows that then the shadows gently evaporate, leaving you alone, freezing in the room where your father's corpse lies. You leave lies. You leave hastily. Battle over hundred percent success. Now my goal will be to get out of the house. I believe it's going to trigger another fight. I don't remember though. In turn, the living room seems to come alive. Menacing shadows rise up between the furniture. They seem to behold you, accusingly to observe you, <sighs> to scrutinize you. This phantasmic surreal's decor intensifies your distress. And then we're back into combat. It also keeps track of turns, because sometimes you need to survive a certain amount of turns, or you need to... Uh, get out within a certain number of turns kind of thing. Hallucination, escape through the door. The shadow shape looks vaguely familiar. She addresses you with a soft voice, both insidious and terrifying. You are trembling, my daughter. Are you scared? What are you looking for here? What are you looking for, my daughter? In this saloon void of all things. Just want to cross the room in peace. Where will you go? You can't even stay up. Christine, why do you have to be so stubborn? Your knees are quivering. You're just about to collapse. How long has it been since you last slept? I'm not going to be rude. Yes, my sweet. I know. Come, come with me. Smile. No, I don't really want to die yet. That's the Shadow of Doubt. That's uh, Terrifying Shadow, Terrifying Shadow, 
terrifying shit, but they all have, uh, names and stuff. Um, since we have the PP, we're gonna push this asshole back. Eventually I'll be able to... One of the moves I like upgrading to is when you push them back, you push yourself back too, which can be quite useful when used right. I can use it really well. You have suffered damage, you will start getting more energy points. That's my hit points up underneath my portrait. At each turn, I regain a little bit of my energy. Um, I've just learned Anticipation, which helps to distract myself from getting badly hurt. And then I'm moving forward again. And then I'm gonna actually push this guy away again. Oh, I can't push that guy. Oh well. I'm gonna push this thing away. Because they can't move yet. And it definitely makes it a lot easier for me to get out. Then I get all this. And long ago, enemies keep track of what happened. Tabs on combat. See how the combat unfolds. And that's down in the uh, lower left hand corner. But, considering, I can leave. You can retry the battles if you don't get 100% success or you want to do something else. So, that is. Oh, escape or redoing it is an option for all of these battles. I do not believe I'll have to do it, at least for the first couple parts. Because I've done them before, and if you lose, you have to start over anyways. So we will get out of the house. And we have As I Lead Drain, progress 2 out of 100. It is wise to save. So I'm going to do two save files. Because that will let me bounce back in case there's a glitch. I'm not expecting many, but it is possible. Alright, do I trigger another combat? Yes. Oh wait, maybe. A few seconds suffice to gather your spirits. While you take a moment, you hear footsteps. The silhouette is for you. It's a visitor, but to someone may do you some good. A man approaches. His beard is blonde, his eyes so clear blue, one would think they are white. It is your father. Standing in the snow, he is fixing you in silence. You are not afraid. You are simply surprised. I stepped into an avalanche. It covered up my soul. Oh, no. I said, uh, yep. <laughs> there was going to be another combat right after this. Certain areas are larger than your view can show at once. You can move by going up to the edge of the screen. But I need to get to Dad. Um, okay, let's start the battle. And then we get detection, which lets me see hidden traps. And those are going to be ones you want to avoid. Some traps will take away life. Some traps will um, stop you instantly. Uh, the one I just stepped on did 17 damage. But with that, I should be able to get to my dad within... It's called Buried Pain. Some traps do. Once they trigger, don't come back. Other traps will continuously trigger when you step on them. It gets really difficult later on when enemies can push you towards them. Which is why I like certain abilities that let me push them against things as well. What are you doing outside in the cold? Are you leaving? Uh, 
Uh, let's see. What do I want to choose? I got what? No, I never had any attention. Maybe. I don't know. It doesn't matter. There isn't anyone waiting for me here. You should leave. I am, I am too old to leave. Only one destination remains open to me. One possible journey. I have wasted too much time. Try not to talk too much over dialogue. Where people speak. 